Hi everybody, this is Todd Oltoff with Max Stadium coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to continue our look at Plex and we're going to take a look at how you access Plex remotely. So in our previous screencast we walked through how to set up Plex on your Mac Mini hosted at Max Stadium and talked about how to get your content up to your Mac Mini. Uh, we also covered how to get Plex set up and get the Plex server running on your Mac Mini server and how to edit it and, and customize uh, your setup. And so this week we're going to take a look at how do you access your Plex server now that you're uh, now that you've got everything set up. And so how do you access it from any one of your Macs uh, or uh, on your computer? And we're going to look at uh, two ways that you can do that. And so the first way is to be able to access it right from a web browser. So here I am. I'm on my uh, my own Mac. Uh, so I'm remote. This isn't the Mac Mini that's hosted at Mac Stadium. And so all I need to do is go into uh, Plex.tv. So I just pull up that web address. And all I've got to do is sign in. And as you saw earlier, we had created a uh, MyPlex account. So I just sign in right here. And go ahead and put in the uh, username and password that you used before to create your MyPlex account. Okay, once you have all your information in there, you click Sign In. And so now I'm signed in. So here we are. You can see I've got my, uh, I'm signed in up here. You can see that uh, it says my servers, go premium, uh, and then launch. And so the launch is the way I can get into uh, my, my uh, server. So let me just click launch here. And here you are. You can see that right now I'm inside uh, my actual uh, media server. You notice that these are all of the things in previous screencasts that I uploaded uh, to my uh, server uh, at Mac Stadium. So I've got everything right here. Uh, you'll notice I'm on the web app up here. So I'm not uh, at the local IP address like I was before. Uh, I'm actually in the web app uh, accessing this remotely. And so all my contents here. And so everything that I've got, again, if I just uh, you know click on it, here I am with all of the different uh, metadata in the background and all of that right in the interface. I can still do edits and things remotely uh, to, those, to the uh, information that I've got. And uh, as you can see, it, it really, uh, it's a nice interface. And so I can play it right in the window here and, uh, and have access to all of my content. And you notice I have recently added here. Uh, this is all the information that I've recently added. I've got my channels down here that I can access uh, as well. And then you'll notice down here, um, I've also got a queue. And I'm gonna talk about this queue in a minute because one of the great uh, things about Plex is that you can queue up videos to watch later. So I'm gonna show you how that works. Uh, on the side here, I've got my different channels, right? I've got my, uh, my channels on here, which is uh, the different things that I've added. Uh, I can install channels remotely if I want to. You can see I've got uh, videos, music, photo. Uh, I've got those that information on there. Uh, I've got my home movies. Again, so here's my home movies by themselves. Uh, my movies, as you can see, they'll pull those up, and then my TV shows, and those will get pulled up as well. So as you can see, fully functional. Uh, everything's right here. I can make edits here remotely, and uh, I'm all logged in, and everything's good to go. So one of the extra, uh, and the other thing you'll see too is I've got activity and settings up here just like I had before, and I uh, got some of the same uh, information there uh, as well. So let's talk about this queue for a minute. One of the great things about Plex is that you can actually queue things up to view later. So videos that you're uh, browsing on the web, if you want to be view those later, uh, maybe on your television or something else on your Mac, uh, you can queue things up. And so let me just uh, click this, learn how to, how to do this. Uh, the first is you've got a bookmarklet that you can add uh, up to your uh, bookmarks bar up here, uh, where you would just uh, click that and would add a video to Plex. I'll show you how that works. And then you can also email yourself uh, videos as well. So let's start with this uh, uh, information right here. I just pulled this uh, Plexit uh, bookmarklet, and I can put it right up here in my toolbar. And I can rename it if I want, but I'll just leave it alone. And you can see now that I've got this uh, Plexit uh, bookmark up here. And what that allows me to do is to add things to my queue. So let me just uh, pull up uh, another browser here. Here's the uh, Mac Stadium site. And let's say I've got uh, this video here uh, that, uh, that we've done on OwnCloud, and I want to watch this later. I don't want to watch it now, but I want to watch it through Plex. I just uh, click this Plexit button right here, and you notice a little slide out comes. It finds the video. And it basically says it's adding it to my queue in this many minutes, and now it's done. It's been added. Uh, you can see here that I have uh, I have the option to recommend it to other people, or I can actually play it right now uh, if I wanted to and go right into the system to play it. Uh, so everything's been added, and uh, I can even go into my queue right from here. Let me just pop this down for a minute. Uh, when we come back in here, let me go back. Uh, let's go back home. And you'll notice down here now I've got the video queued. And so here's the video. I can watch it. 
uh, on uh, the particular plugin. You notice it just kind of strips it down real nice and has it set up here so that I can watch that video. So that's one way that I can get uh, videos into my Plex queue. Let's just uh, let's go back in here for a minute. Now the other way I can do it is I can do it by email. And so all I've got to do is email myself links to videos that I want to share uh, that's right here uh, at this email address. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to you know hover over this and we're going to Command C to copy it. And what I want to do is uh, you can actually add it to your address bar, uh, address book if you want to. Uh, you could come in and just add uh, you know in your address book. Just uh, click the plus here, new contact, and just add uh, you know the contact information here. What we're going to do is go company, call it Plex, add that in there uh, as a company, and we're going to go uh, uh, email right here. Put that information in there, done, and we saved it. Okay, so now I've got my Plex uh, information there. And now let's go, uh, let's go back to our uh, plug-in here, and let's, uh, let's pick another video to take a look at. Uh, let's go with this one. And what I'm going to do is share, and just copy this link. So Command-C to copy that. Let me just uh, put this down now. And I'll just pull an uh, email message that I started to create here. And this is going to go to Plex. You can see right there. That's who I'm going to send it to. And uh, we can just say new videos right there. So I can put that, uh, that information in there. And then uh, just put the video in here. And then send the, uh, send the email. And so what will happen is it's going to send this email now. And once the email has been sent, uh, it should add that into my Plex queue. So I'll just give it a, maybe give it a minute to refresh, and there we go. You can see that now I've got the other video added in that I just sent by email. So it is a really convenient way to use Plex because you can use it for all kinds of information that you want to watch. Uh, videos that you've seen you want to show later, maybe you want to show it to somebody, you can actually queue them up right inside uh, Plex itself and watch those things later. So that's, a, that's an additional section. So as you can see, this is one way to do it, a fully functional way to access Plex. And like I said, I'm doing it remotely from my uh, Mac Stadium server. Now, there's another way to do it, and that is with a, uh, a, a bigger interface, a little bit prettier interface. And so let me show you how to do that with the uh, Plex Theater app. Okay, here we are back at the Plex.tv uh, website. You want to go back there uh, to get the Plex Theater. And so we're just going to go to Downloads up here. And basically, this pulls up all of our downloads. And we want the Plex Home Theater uh, application right here. So we're going to uh, click on that. And basically, now you can choose the Mac download. Again, depending on your Mac, uh, you got 32-bit or 64-bit. Uh, most of the modern uh, apps uh, are 64-bit. So I'm just going to download the 64-bit. You notice you can do it for Windows and for uh, Linux as well. And so now that that's downloaded, uh, let me just come up here. Oh, you can see that it's still working on it. As soon as it's down, I'll uh, pull it up here. Okay, so there you can see uh, we've got the Plex uh, Home Theater zip. So I'm going to launch that. Okay, and uh, let me just uh, let's put the website down here. Let me just bring this up. Okay, so here we are. You can see I've got the Plex Home Theater application right there. I'm just going to take this and drag it into my Applications folder. And click on the Applications folder here. And now we're just going to uh, scroll down and find the Plex Media, Media uh, Home Theater. Double click on that. And then we're going to say OK. We want to open it. And it's going to launch us into this uh, full screen uh, interface here where we'll be looking at uh, setting it up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, minimize this to window, uh, windowed mode. You can do it in full screen or windowed mode. Uh, you just need to uh, click the uh, or tap the forward slash on your keyboard. And so it'll shrink it down. Now, unfortunately, it's shrunk it down real small here. So let's pull it up and resize it. There we go. And so this is the uh, home theater setup. So what we're going to do is, uh, you know, kind of go through this. Again, it says you want to have uh, MyPlex so you can pull your information down, uh, which is great. We already have uh, MyPlex already set up. So we're going to say Next. And you actually have to use the keyboard to uh, get through this, so we're going to click Next. Now you have to toggle whether you've got analog or optical audio connection. So if you've got this hooked up to a home theater, you do the optical audio. Otherwise, it'll be analog uh, on here. So we're going to say that, and then we're going to arrow down to Next. And so now it says, from your computer, you want to go to the myplex.com slash pin and enter this code. So let me uh, pull up a web browser to do that. 
Okay, so we have this up here, and uh, it tells us we want to go to this address. All right, and we want to enter the pin that they gave us right here. Okay, so we put the pin in, and we're going to click Connect. It says you're all set, and you'll notice, let me just uh, lower this down. You'll notice on the screen here, it says, okay, you're all set, we're signed in. So now we're just going to uh, click OK. And so here we are. Now we're in a uh, big interface. Okay, now this is something you can use on your television. Uh, this is something you could use on a Roku. Uh, by logging in, um, you know, a uh, connected TV. Uh, so the nice thing is that you've got your uh, Plex Media Server hosted at Mac Stadium, yet you can pull this uh, data down from just about anywhere uh, that you're at just by logging in. And you'll notice the, the background screens that are floating through are all of the different screenshots from the media that I've got. And if I just arrow uh, through with my uh, keyboard here, you can see there's the channels I set up uh, on uh, my Plex server. Uh, here's the queue of the uh, two media files that I had queued up to watch later. Uh, there's my TV shows uh, all set up there. You can see the different ones. Uh, I've got movies. Again, those are the movies that I uploaded, and I've got my two home movies. So you can see that I've got uh, all of the information right here uh, ready to watch, ready to go, uh, right from a, a big screen interface. And so this comes in handy even on your Mac if you want to do a full screen interface uh, that looks really uh, pretty. Uh, you can watch it off of there, or like I said, you can do it on a television, or you could also do it uh, on a Roku uh, and different connected TVs and things like that. So that gives you an idea how that works. So that shows you how you can actually access your Plex server from your Mac uh, or from your computers. It should work for Windows and Linux as well. And so uh, you can see how versatile that is. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next time with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac in a hosted environment.